So in my time at TransPerfect, the company has grown from probably 200 people to over 4,000 people, from $35 million in revenue to over 500 million in revenue. The thing that I, I, I feel has stayed the same, and I think will always stay the same, is that we invest in people. We invest in people that we feel like are fit for the culture, believe in the company's vision, have those same core values that we all share. What's great about the culture here is that we are encouraged to let people be part of creating that culture. I think it's an amazing platform. We have amazing talents working here at TransPerfect. Respect is obviously an incredibly important thing. And in TransPerfect, I think you see that in every interaction that we have internally, as well as with our clients. So there's a lot of respect and discussions of people's customs, people's ways of doing business. And I think that just comes into your day-to-day -day life and becomes a habit, which is, which is really powerful. From the sea level all the way down to the, someone that started on their first day, everybody's super engaged and positive. The reaction from everyone within the organization all the way up to our CEOs was so welcoming. You know, the biggest test of integrity is how you make a decision when no one's watching. So when I make promises to people on my team or to my clients, I'm going to follow through and I'm going to do everything humanly possible to, to make it happen for them. At TransPerfect you realize very, very fast that like honesty is going to get you the furthest. You're working alongside really smart people, really hardworking and creative people that care about what they're doing. Mediocrity is not an option. It's how do we do the best job and how do we solve our customers' problems and how do we do it well. We wouldn't have been able to have built a half a billion dollar company if we didn't have the level of quality that we do have. I don't think there's really any organization that tries as hard to, to be the client services leaders as we do. Making them feel like they're our most important client, regardless if they spend a thousand dollars or a million dollars or, or twenty million dollars. The wow factor is achieved by just having people who commit to wanting to wow. Everything we do, we'd like to put a sense of urgency in it. The urgency that I respond to my clients with shows them that I'm always there for them and that they can depend on me. When you bring people together from such different backgrounds, what you do is you just create something special. It's a very good experience to open up, you know, to new horizons. It's exciting to be a part of a community that is so accepting. Own it is everything. If you owned the company, how would that drive your decision-making process? You have the personal freedom to be able to make those decisions and, and to really forge your own path. There's this overwhelming sense of entrepreneurialism. You have this endless opportunity, and so if you say, like, I'm gonna set myself certain goals, and you take ownership of that, you can achieve those goals. There's just so many things that go into being successful here. It's an amazing opportunity to grow professionally. So there's a saying that the whole is bigger than the sum of its parts. TMARC is being there and helping to train and bring in and welcome new people and kind of cultivate this culture of we're all in it together. Teamwork at TransPerfect to me should just be changed with the word family. Everyone's really involved and invested in each other. Our clients depend on us. If we're not financially responsible internally, then we're not going to be around to support them externally for years to come. You would handle the company's finances almost like they would be your own. It's not your money, but it's the money that ultimately funds the fact that you do have a job. We're about growth. We're always pushing forward, we're always pushing ahead. We are a, a true meritocracy in the sense that you're going to advance in the company based on the results that you create. We don't win all the time, but when we win, we celebrate, and when we don't win, we learn from it. The end goal is what matters. The way to get there doesn't really matter. The amount of opportunity that you have here is um, it's eye-opening. It is very refreshing. You know, you wake up every morning and you don't know where the next path is going to take you. And you feel invigorated when you come to work because the sky's the limit.